102 days have passed since the start of the hunger strike of Meher al akhras the Palestinian prisoner in the prisons of a Zionist regime, to protest against so-called administrative detention. But do you know what is administrative detention? If you want to understand what exactly administrative detention means, you should know the Public Safety Act or PSA in uh, Kashmir being implemented against the people of Kashmir by the Indian government. So administrative detention of the Zionists against the Palestinians is exactly the same act of public safety in Kashmir being implemented by the Indian forces against the people of Kashmir. In both cases, the victim is being arrested, detained, and imprisoned without any clear trail, without being informed about what exactly has been against him erased in the court. So he could have been under arrest for six months in Palestine and for up to two years in Kashmir. I had an interview with Ashraf Shannon, the uh, uh, correspondent of Press TV in Palestine, regarding the latest situation of uh, Mahar al akhras the Palestinian prisoner, after 101 uh, or two days of hunger strike. So watch my interview with Ashraf Shannon, and I'll be back again with you uh, to make a sort of comparison between uh, Public Safety Act in Kashmir and uh, administrative detention in Palestine. Thank you for thank you for accepting my uh, my invitation for the live. Let's go to the point. I don't want to uh, you know, waste your time too much. Yes. Uh, in recent days, the news that was coming almost every day regarding the strike, uh, I mean, hunger strike of Mahar al akhras one of the Palestinian prisoners. Uh, and this was coming again and again out. And uh, there were some questions I was actually asking. Uh, I was thinking that I may ask this question from you, you make some clarification about what's going on there. First of all, what is the latest condition of Mahar al akhras after 102 or three days of hunger strike? Actually, it's, it's 101 days and he's in, uh, his health is rapidly deteriorating. It's a miracle that uh, Mahar al akhras is, uh, is still alive. It's probably because of, of the prayers of his family and his children and the support he's been getting from, from for all, all over the world for his uh, ongoing hunger strike that he is, he is surviving. It is honestly a miracle that uh, al Akhras is, is, still, is still alive because his, his health is deteriorating, his internal organs are, are malfunctioning. So it, it is possible that he might, we might lose him at any, at any, at any moment. He, he started this whole thing to, in an attempt to stop the, the uh, Zionist regime from uh, 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 utilizing this method of uh, administrative detention in which prisoners are kept without charge or trial or without due process for, for, for months and sometimes years. And uh, and hopefully uh, he, he will succeed. He, he's demanding that he be moved to a Palestinian hospital and, and end to his uh, administrative incarceration. The so situation... let, let's make it, let's please make it clear. What is this administrative, I mean, uh, arrest that's taking place? What is this exactly? And Mahar al is also a victim of this rule uh, in, in, in occupied lands of Palestine. Well, basically administrative detention uh, uh, the, the the courts uh, sentence the the person to uh, initially six months without telling the lawyer or the or the accused what is he accused of. So if, imagine you being held uh, in custody without knowing the charge what what you you were accused, and uh, they say it's uh, secret evidence and and they cannot tell a neither the, the lawyer nor the, the defendant of, of what was he, what is he accused of. And they sometimes renew this uh, uh, months after months, uh, six months uh, uh, periods, and sometimes it lasts for several years. It's, it's illegal and uh, it's inhumane because when a prisoner is sentenced, at least he knows at one point he'll be going home. But these prisoners do not know whenever uh, their sentence uh, is finished or 
sometimes you know the the sentence ends let's say six months and on the day that prisoner is on the uh, the prison bus of uh, supposedly going home they decide we'll to stop the game again. turn back to the okay 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 so so he is looking after a stop to this i mean to this uh, i mean uh, you know administrative detention he's actually uh, against this by his hunger strike he want to show i mean he's uh, stand towards this rule i i think it ha it had some 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 experiences there were some other prisoners palestinian prisoners who also started to you know to protest by uh, by hunger strike against this rule i think if i'm not wrong khadr adnan was one of those uh, he also was trying to protest against this uh, i mean detention yes khadr adnan was a, one of the, the longest uh, hunger strikes uh, inside uh, Zionist jails and uh, uh, he succeeded i believe to uh, uh, to uh, to end his uh, uh, administrative detention but the thing is uh, maher al akhras is, is fighting for all palestinian prisoners he he wants a, a, a complete end to this cruel and inhumane uh, yes. practice by, by the zionist regime against the palestinians we have to understand that this administrative detention was not uh created by the zionist entity it was basically a creation of the uh the uh, the, the british mandate of of palestine prior to 1948 and uh, the zionists uh, utilized it uh till now so palestinians uh, a few days ago marked the 103rd anniversary of the balfour declaration and and this shows you how a british rule of palestine a british occupation of palestine continues to uh, uh to yes. affect and uh, uh and cause suffering and pain for palestinians yes another question is about how it is possible as you mentioned it's a miracle of course i mean when someone is going on a hunger strike in the palestinian as palestinians going to hunger strike and the i mean Uh, during the detention uh, how do they manage i mean uh, if i'm not wrong they are typically taking water and salt or something like that to keep their i mean uh, resistance if i'm not wrong but they are avoiding having any food can you i mean explain it a little bit exactly how they are i mean main, uh, com- i mean uh, maintaining this hunger strike yes they maintain this hunger strike that they will, they will not uh, consume any any kind of food the only thing they take is is water and salt and today the uh, the palestinian islamic jihad movement has warned the zionist regime of uh, against force feeding uh, maher al akhras because uh, in case uh, he, uh, he 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 uh, edges closer to death uh, zionist hospital might uh, try to force feed him and it's this is this is an, a, a, a very uh, cruel way of, of 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 feeding it, the prisoners to in order to end the uh, the hunger strike it's a sort of torture actually i mean force feeding is a sort of torture actually yes they, they basically uh, insert a tube into his uh, throat or nose I'm, i don't i don't recall and uh, it's a very painful uh, procedure and they you can cause damage to his his internal organs as well Yes. Uh, next question was regarding these footages who came. I mean, were spread. The question was that if he is in detention and if he is in uh, in an I mean in a Zionist hospital, how media can connect to him? I mean, there were there were questions about how is the condition? I mean, is he allowed to connect, uh, contact the media and talk to them or not? How those videos are coming out? What's the exact situation? Elaborate this a little bit more for uh, for us. I think it's it's uh, lawyers or international organizations who. who who uh, managed to uh, uh to enter the the hospital it's possibly because the the hospital is not a, a military installation so the the zionist forces cannot control like like cannot have full control of of the situation in in, in that room and basically most of the footage is low quality and used uh, and taken through uh, uh mobile mobile phones uh and sometimes uh, this uh, uh, footage are taken by his uh, some of his family members as well oh, was he also deprived from his family also because there were some news that for almost 100 days or 90 days he was not allowed to visit his daughter 
and there were some scenes of his daughter also coming and visiting him for the first time after a long period of time. Yes, for for a long time, his wife and uh, and his daughter as well. They were outside in the corridor of the hospital, and and the the the, the guards, the the prison guards who are guarding uh, his room, uh, uh, refused to, to let them uh, see the their father or their or their or her husband, although they were like a few few feet away f- f- from the room. So basically, his family was hearing him in pain and agony, and he can. actually hear the cries of his daughter but cannot hold her or uh, get close to her only after uh, uh, involvement by uh, uh, lawmakers and international organizations that they allowed his daughter to 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 get close to him uh, there was one viral video about uh, he talking to i think he was a representative of al alam tv channel and he was praising mar al akhras being an and this i mean critical condition he was praising iran and iranian people because of resisting against these i mean uh, you know sanctions against the iranian people and the defend i'm um, tell it tell a little bit more about that that was also something really interesting for me myself that the person in that condition is actually talking about iran and the support of the iranian people in the government and the resistance of the iranians as well well uh, all the press people will 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 definitely give credit to islamic republic of iran for supporting the oppressed around the world So it's not a surprise uh, when Maher Akhras or uh, other Palestinians uh, uh, say such things uh, in favor of the Islamic Republic of Iran, because the Islamic Republic of Iran f- ha- has for long uh, uh, supported the Palestinian cause, supported the, the, the efforts of Palestinians to liberate Palestine and Jerusalem al Quds, and uh, 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 Palestinians uh, uh, definitely. Uh, love the Islamic Republic of Iran, and and the love has increased even more uh, in, uh, over the past few months. Basically, after some uh, Arab countries in the Persian Gulf region uh, started normalizing relations uh, with the uh, Zionist regime and uh, stab, uh, backstabbing Palestinians, so the, the, this has encouraged Palestinians to uh, express more and more of their. Uh, 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 of their uh, appreciation to the Islamic Republic of Iran and to the uh, to the people of the Islamic Republic of Iran uh, and uh, and my final question if god forbid god forbid may allah release him may allah give him uh, i mean freedom as soon as possible and his give him victory if god forbid uh, anything is going to take place to the uh, life of uh, mahar al akhras what do you expect to be the reactions of the palestinian Palestinian movements, resistance movements, and the organizations and the people. How do you how do you analyze that? Well, Palestinian factions have made it clear if uh, if, if Maher Akhras uh, uh, dies in, in Zionist custody, uh, they will uh, react. I will not be surprised if they uh, fire rockets towards the Zionist uh, regime or, uh, uh, or 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 escalate. Uh, A retaliation to uh, to to whatever happens to Maher Akhras, because for Palestinians, the issue the, the issue of prisoners is a very emotive issue. Uh, we have to all we have to understand that since 1967 alone, the uh, the Zionist regime has incarcerated over one million Palestinians. This is proven statistics. Uh, uh, Huge number. Uh, I, yes, and. Uh, Uh, some, I believe, fifteen thousand of them had to go through uh, some type of administrative detention as well. Uh, let's pray. May Allah bless you all, and may Allah release Mahar Al Akhras and other Palestinian prisoners as well. And thank you for giving your time to me, uh, Ashraf. I know you are too busy, and uh, that's quite, I mean, uh, your favor. I mean, to give us your time uh, in this condition. Thank you. Thank you, and for the effort. As you heard, Ashraf Shannon says something really interesting that the administrative detention law or act in Palestine has roots in the British mandate of 1945 uh, and uh, it is actually uh, a heritage of the Britain, colonial Britain, uh, that is still 
hurting and still you know, affecting the Palestinian people. And it's interesting that uh, you know uh, the same is about Kashmir because uh, the uh, PSA or Public Safety Act uh, was actually a sort of preventive detention. That's so called, it's a sort of preventive detention. That has also roots in the colonial uh, era, colonial rule of Britain over India. Another important uh, interesting point is that in, in a Zionist regime implemented this act, the Administrative Detention Act, in 1979. And Public Safety Act, again, interestingly, was, um, you know, was, you know, uh, enforced by law. At the same time, in 1978, this act was, you know, used in Kashmir, specifically at the initial stage, it was to stop the smuggling, but actually later on it was used against the political figures in Kashmir. Um, another important interesting figure that Ashraf Shannon also mentioned, that over one million Palestinians being, you know, arrested uh, since 1967 till today, out of which some 15,000 are those who have guns in some or other way through the administrative detention. And the numbers in Kashmir is also the same from 80s till today. We have something like 16,000 Kashmiri people who have been under the you know, PSA, Public Safety Act, who have been arrested. And the duration of time is also something that you have to pay attention in Kashmir. So it starts from six months up to two years. And uh, the same is the case in, in Palestine and the Zionists are charging the Palestinians whom they may find for any reason, you know, uh, a threat to dear security and they put them in, tr in, 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 uh, in, in prison for six months and they can extend it without any logic behind it. So they can extend it up to years as well. So it is being said that the Indian policies against the people of Kashmir is such as the policies of the Zionists against the people of Palestine is something that has roots and logics and proofs and documents. One of them is the issue of Public Safety Act in Kashmir and administrative detention in Palestine. Let's hope for the freedom and victory of Mahar al-Akhras and for the freedom and victory of the all oppressed people across the globe. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. And if you like this video, share it with others as well. Wassalam.